Today I'm going to show you how to draw these cute little mittens with markers. This is an easy beginner drawing lesson for kids of all ages, so let's begin! <music> Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Christmas Party, we paint and draw everything that has to do with Christmas and the holidays. So let's have some fun. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You'll need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. You'll need an, a pencil and an eraser. And I always bring out my little paintbrush so I can wipe off the eraser bits and dust from my page. As far as color, we're only using two colors and we're going to use markers today. I've got red and I've got black. So why don't I clear my page off and we can start drawing our mittens. <laughs> mittens for winter. All right, so let's draw some mittens. Let's draw this one first. We'll draw the thumb like that. And then the rest of the mitten is a bit bigger. And we'll draw kind of a semicircle line there. And at the bottom of the mitten, we'll draw an oval shape like that. Okay. Now I'll draw the other mitten. We'll have the thumb here. And then the mitten itself. a little bit of a semicircle, and then an oval shape for the bottom of the mitten. Okay, and we want them attached. So we're going to draw a line with a circle. And we're going to draw it again. Watch. All the way around again. There we go. Okay, now what we'll do is we will outline with black. But before we do that, I just thought I want to put something on the mittens. I'm not sure what, but I thought maybe I would do a little snowman. So I'll do a circle and then another circle. And we'll leave it like that for now. I'll do that here too a circle and another circle. <laughs> okay, so for the black, what we're going to do is we're going to take our marker and we're going to outline the mittens. Okay, just going to outline the mittens with my black Sharpie marker and I'm going to erase my pencil marks. I don't care if I go outside the lines or not. I just want to make sure I keep the shape of the mittens. We can outline our snowman too. Okay, same thing here. Not the squiggly line though. I'm not going to outline that. Not sure if I'll outline it or not. We'll see. I'm going to make this mitten bigger actually. There we go. and the snowman. Okay, now if you want to, you can outline the ribbon that holds them together. Just be careful because if you have a thick marker, you might accidentally color it in at the same time. And I want this ribbon to be red. So what I'm gonna do for the middle part is I'm just gonna draw a circle just like that. I'm not going to draw those little lines that we had, but I'm just going to outline. There we go. So our mittens are drawn. Let me move this up a little bit for you. There you go. Now, if you're erasing, make sure your marker is dry. Sharpies dry very, very quickly, so I know it's dry, but I want to erase all of my, my pencil marks. I had a hard time saying that just get rid of all those pencil marks and you can lightly lightly erase 
If you're using other markers, maybe you could test them to make sure that, you know, on another page, see how long it takes for them to dry because you don't want to smudge your page up. Okay, so all my pencil marks are gone. I'm going to take my red and I'm coloring in the mitten, this mitten and the string. Not this area, not this area, and not the snowman. Okay, so why don't I start? This is how I do it. <laughs> I want to make sure I don't go outside of my lines. So I always do it this way. Just sort of do an outline first and then I color it all in. It gives me, it guides me not to go outside the lines. I used to wear mittens, but you know, as you get older, somehow you start wearing gloves. <laughs> I don't know when that happened. But I started wearing gloves, I guess. I don't know when. High school or earlier? I'm not sure. I'm going to be careful not to get any red into my snowman here. So I'm going to outline. I'm getting a little bit of red on my fingers, so I have to be careful about that. Yeah, I don't know when it happened. Is it when you start growing up? I don't know. You start wearing gloves instead of mittens. <laughs> I love mittens though. I used to do a lot of knitting and I used to knit mittens. They just keep your hands so nice and warm. And I love the strings too, because then you never lose them. <laughs> now you don't have to use red for your mittens. You can choose any color you want. I'm trying to stick to kind of holiday colors, reds and greens. These mittens remind me a little bit of Santa Claus mittens, eh? A little red and white. He might not have the snowman on his, though. I love using Sharpie markers. They really have nice colors once you apply it onto your page, but oh boy, do they stink. I don't like how they smell. Stinky. <laughs> All right, that's one mitten. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Fill in the red. I was just thinking of a TV show. I don't know if you guys have watched it. Everybody's probably heard of it, but I don't know if you watch it. The Simpsons, that uh, animated cartoon show. There's one character on that show. His name is Ralph. And he's kind of a... <laughs> he acts very dumb sometimes. And I just remember one episode where he says, My cat's name is Mittens. <laughs> And it had nothing to do with the conversation. I think Lisa and her friend were saying, uh, Ralph, do you want to come over and play a, a game with us? They were playing a game called Anagrams, where you take a letter and you mix up, you take a word and you mix up the letters and you make another word out of the letters. It's not an easy game, but you know, Lisa Simpson is very smart, so it's easy for her. So they asked Ralph if he wanted to come over and play anagrams with them. And I guess he didn't understand what they were saying, so he said, my cat's name is Mittens. <laughs> this made no sense, but it was something that Ralph always says. <laughs> Every time I hear the word Mittens now, I can't help thinking of that. 
It's a good name for a cat though, mittens. Because you know, cats have those little, it looks like they're wearing mittens sometimes. They have different colors, you know? I have a cat named Oscar and he's a ginger cat, he's orange. But at the end of his paws, they're white. So it does look like he's wearing mittens. How are you guys doing? Are your markers stinky like mine? <laughs> okay, this is looking really nice. I love the colors. Black and red and white together look really nice. There we go. Very nice. Now I'm going to draw the string red and I'm going to be real careful not to go outside the lines. Should be easy. Well, I say it should be easy. I hope it's easy not to go outside the lines. concentrating here so that I don't go outside my lines. There we go. Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my black marker and I'm just going to put some two straight lines like this for the eyes of the snowman and a little smile, little smile, little scarf, little scarf. Maybe a hat, straight line, top of the hat, color it in. Straight line, circle for the top of the hat, color it in. And buttons, one, two, three. One, two, three. And maybe just some arms coming out. <laughs> Our snowman mittens. <laughs> That's it, my friends. That was an easy one today, but it was fun. It was good for the, the cold weather, you know. If you're in the northern hemisphere like I am, if you're in the southern hemisphere, you're probably in the middle of summer right now. But we have our mittens on here. Now I'm going to sign my work. I want you to sign your work, and I want you to be very proud of the beautiful work of art that you just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Christmas Party. Thanks for watching. Bye.